So here we are in our Chinese made Model Y in Canada. This is the standard range. This is the two wheel drive model. And we've just taken it out for a quick little spin. And let's take a look at the acceleration. This is from a dead stop. Oh yeah, it goes. Now, it's obviously slower than the four-wheel drive, the dual motor with the larger battery. Uh, it's uh, got the LFP battery in it, uh, which is not as recyclable, which is a particular concern for me. And one of the things that I found, which we'll verify after this, was that it does not include the European and Asian spec uh, charging uh, ports. So it only has the Tesla port at the back, so I'm told. Other than that, uh, they were telling me, well, the non-salesperson was telling me that the only difference that they can find is that the font for the VIN number is a little different. I confirmed that the tires are even the same, which I was a bit surprised at because I have a Chinese Cadillac CT6 that's plug-in hybrid, and it has different tires, and there's a few little things that are, uh, that are different. Uh, and uh, you would expect that, but apparently not in this case. Well, there's one difference I've noticed. I've noticed uh, a few rattles, and that is uh, on the inside, obviously, and uh, seems to be in things like the header panels here. And uh, yeah, that's a bit unusual for a Tesla. Now, it might just be that this is, you know, one of the first ones that have come out or something weird like that, but actually that doesn't make sense either because, of course, that plant's been producing the bulk of Tesla Model Y production for quite some time now. It's still very quiet, don't get me wrong, but I do notice that bit of rattling. So let's take a quick walk around and just make sure it's what we expect. Uh, that it is exactly the same. The seats sure seem the same. The software is definitely the same. Steering controls, so on and so forth. These are just hubcaps, as you can see. But underneath, I can feel is the standard aluminum rim. So I would pull these off, probably. Single charge port, boo. Wow, that is a lot of space. One of the things that Tesla told me was that almost everybody that buys a Model 3 buys the two-wheel drive model, and that's because it's least expensive. Now that this is out, yeah, that's a difficult choice to make, and this is going to affect the sales mix. They're going to want to make sure that this is a step up uh, for Model 3 people like me, and not a step down for Model Y people. Uh, they're not going to want to eat their own sales and lose profits. So that's probably why they brought it into Canada first and not into the United States yet. But you know it's coming. So when you put it to the floor, it certainly picks up with one hell of a boost. Uh, but you wouldn't confuse it with the extended range Model Y or even the older Model 3s with the standard batteries in them. This is definitely fast but it doesn't give you that snap 
that Tesla is famous for. Now, most people don't care. They're only gonna do that once or twice in their own vehicle, although everybody does it in a test vehicle. <laughs> so let's show you that snap again. So we're driving along here at about 50 now, not dead zero. And if we jack it up, yeah, it zips. I mean, there's no two ways about it, but it's not as catastrophic, <laughs> that's a good word, as the uh, extended range Model Y is. It just doesn't have that heavy snap. One of the big concerns for me with this product, with this uh, Model Y made in China, with a smaller range battery, is that it's the LFP battery, the lithium ion phosphate battery. And while it's just fine, I've watched a number of people that uh, recycle batteries explain that the LFPs are going to be a lot more difficult to recycle. There's also concern over how the structural battery packs are going to get recycled. Now, there's going to be so many of them, it'll get worked out. But as it stands right now, yeah, it's a concern. And that is going to weigh into my purchase decision. Would that make a difference to you? Do you care about that? Or do you just want the cool car and, you know, that's that? Uh, figuring that the, in the future it'll all get worked out. Let us know in the comments section below. So overall, what do I think of the Tesla Model Y that's made in China? Well, yeah, it's fine. So I don't see a scenario in which I buy a Model 3, even the new redesigned one that'll be out um, probably this fall. In theory, it's in production already in Shanghai, but uh, there's no confirmation of that, just some spy shots. So for me, I will be almost certainly buying the Model Y, but the question is, which Model Y? Do I spend the extra $10,000 Canadian, so about crazy math, 7,500 US, on the all-wheel drive, you know, the dual motor, larger battery that's not an LFP battery? Or do I instead buy this $10,000 less expensive Chinese-made Model Y that has the LFP battery, uh, slower, zero to 60, and the smaller battery, the 400 ish uh, kilometer range battery. Would you spend the $10,000 and go with the extended range dual motor? That's a question. So hey, if you thought this video was of use, please give us a big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Subscribe's also appreciated. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us at www.partisanissues.com or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because hey, it's YouTube and everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.